Welcome to Johns Hopkins Homewood Field, where we have a Division II matchup, the Wheeling Jesuit Cardinals versus the Florida Tech Panthers, right here in the Yankee Stadium of College Lacrosse. Corrigan Sports Enterprises is a full-service sports marketing and event management company. Every detail from public relations to logistics and cleanup, CSE is experienced in handling events from conception to fruition. The premier lacrosse recruiting tournament, high-profile running events, CSE does it all. Corrigan Sports Enterprises, bringing your dreams to life. Welcome to CSE TV's coverage of Division II Lacrosse. I'm Booker Corrigan, joined by former Penn State midfielder Taylor Sodoff. Taylor, great matchup with field, with Florida and Wheeling Jesuit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got a big matchup tonight versus uh, Wheeling Jesuit, who is 0-2, and, and uh, Florida Tech, who is 3-1 right now. And Wheeling Jesuit, that's an overtime loss to Mercyhurst. They might be a little bit underrated right now. They are dangerous. Yeah, I mean, it's just the beginning of the season for them. They got a star player in Matt Lee. He's a sophomore attackman. Really excited uh, to see him come out tonight. And Troy Mendenhell as well on the defensive end for Florida Tech. The Panthers, who do you like? Absolutely. I like uh, actually Maryland native and uh, Maryland Rough Rider uh, Chris Koch. He's a goalie. Star goaltender. We'll be back with the opening faceoff on CSE TV. I got the magic in me. Let's go. Touch that track, it turns into gold. Woman with a good voice. He did the back of 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 the Division two lacrosse as we talked in the warm-up. Booker Corrigan here with Taylor Stodoff. Taylor, two great teams going at it. And D2's a little underrated these days. Absolutely, but uh, you know, it, it could take anyone to play play a real game. Being here at Homewood really uh, you know gets the juices going, really gets really gets the uh, fans, but also the teams going. So hope to see some good action. Both teams clearly amped to play this one as we see goaltender Jake Lilly for Wheeling Jesuit and starting goaltender Christian Koch for the Florida Panthers. Florida Tech, beautiful campus down there. Two great coaches coming out shaking hands before the game. Today's game brought to you by Thunder Bay Apparel. Check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Thunder Bay Apparel, all the great gear from great Lax fans. They brought the weather tonight too. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Facing off for Florida Tech, Travis Wonder. And for Wheeling Jesuit, it's gonna be Evan Hoddle all night long. Florida Tech takes the first possession. Midfielder Nick Brown. Normally listed as a D midi, but the Panthers will take the first possession here. First quarter brought to you by the Under Armour All-American Underclass Tryout. One of the best events, if not the best recruiting event, Taylor. We'll get into some of that as these two teams get to know each other just a little bit in the early going. Early attack by the Panthers goes awry. Looks like it was a push on FIT there. Just a little bit too aggressive to the cage by Tyler Covey. The freshman out of Westminster played his high school ball at Loyola Blakefield. As the Cardinals get their first possession of the game, Sam Hornig, number 11. And Taylor, how important is it for everybody to get a touch, get into the flow of the game? Yeah, it's super important at the beginning of the game, you know, try to get the nerves calmed down and uh, just get everybody a touch, get them, get the feel of the ball, feel the, uh, feel the lights, you know, just really uh, get your whole body adjusted to the actual game setting. Michael Schoenheit, Sharon up top. 
with McLean Fitzmartin. And now they're going to get it back to the attack. Derek Downs, number 24, rocking some flow. Great short stick D midi play there against Sean Height. Inside feed, shot goal. Count it, one nothing. Wheeling Jesuit getting on the board. Sam Hording, the sophomore out of Colorado Springs. Looks like Bryce Brochu, number 22, with the strong lefty uh, dodge there. Good look inside, good finish. Panthers won that opening faceoff, could not convert. A little too aggressive in the cage. And Wheeling Jesuit. They definitely capitalized on their first uh, offensive possession of the game. Wheeling Jesuit, like we talked about, they came in at 0-2. They are way better than what their record. Dennis Green may disagree. Their records, they're not what their record says they are. They're definitely yeah. hungry. Yeah. What a long pole action shot. Koch wrestles that one off. That's going to be black ball. Great hustle by the defense. Taylor, one of the things I've noticed in college across in the last five years is defensemen winning those possessions to the end line. It truly does. It changes the momentum of games. Definitely changes the momentum of the games. The sidelines gets, gets, uh, gets excited and it, it gets some real uh, juices flowing for yep. them as well. Florida Tech Panthers in their road black uniforms. Cody Martin, the junior out of Middletown High School. Good D by uh, the Maryland native Scotty Gwynn. Pass bounces around and pinballs before it's corralled. Defenseman number 21, Scotty Gwynn. It's early in this game, but he's definitely been all over the field. Jack Bradenburg gives him a quick outlet, and now Kenny Keyes, the sophomore out of Verona, Wisconsin. Verona, Wisconsin, big lacrosse town up there. Big lacrosse town, Kenny Keyes, alliteration. <laughs> there you go. And this is Mike Stillings. Sophomore, of course, out of Apple Valley. Everybody knows that. Eleven fourteen to go here, first quarter. Little flip play, nifty little fake flip play, and there goes the race, the nifty tailor. I know you were looking for that, but to no avail. Every man's got to sail his own ship. Right? I'm always slow to nifty. Yeah. Great defensive play by uh, the, the Black Panthers there. I like that stabilizing effect of 22, Cody Martin. Real quarterback, real field general out there when they need him to be. Absolutely. Every good team, uh, every good team uh, offensive-wise definitely needs that quarterback as well. Someone who's poised and ready to play. Brian Bacella, number four. And now it's going to be up top. They share it with number 11, Matt Weinstein, out of Franklin High School, right here in Reicherstown, Maryland. Always nice to see some Maryland natives yep. come back home. They probably have a bunch of family in the crowd right now. Sure. Family and girlfriends. I think I saw a couple um, I love Matt Weinstein signs. Yes. Oh, yeah. First quarter brought to you by the Under Armour All-American Underclass Tournament and Tryout. It is the best of its kind. Panthers begging for a shot clock right here. And here's Austin Zugelt. Their pass goes onto the ground. Some tenacious D right there by Matt Lee, number 14. Look for them to get a dodge from up top right now. Here's Weinstein. And he gets it back to Polmeyer. Polmeyer shot just wide. Haven't really seen Jake Lilly get tested. And we will step away.
9-10 remaining here first quarter. Cardinals up 1-0 on the Panthers. Taylor, the Under Armour All-American Underclass tryout. Talk about the impact it had on you as a recruit. Yeah, it was a great experience for me. Definitely the best recruiting tournament in the summertime all around, bar none. You got great coaches, great recruiting. And the tryout especially. It's flock and herds of college coaches. The tryouts are tough too. It really brings out the best potential. You got the best kids, especially coming out of Baltimore. You got the best kids out of one of the hottest lacrosse regions in the country. Panthers looking to get in on the cage. Shot just wide. That shot by Cody Martin. And this is Baccarella. Shot just on the inside bouncer. A little Paris Hilton for Baccarella. The senior out of Turnbull, Connecticut, went to St. Joseph High School, turned the corner, getting the edge, and he nails the hard bouncer. Miss Trumbull. <laughs> Trumbull, Connecticut. <laughs> Gotta love it. Hodel against Wonder at the faceoff dot. That's a big senior take by uh, Baccarella there. Definitely what uh, FIT needs to get into the game. Possession this time, Sam Horning, the sophomore, doing a nice job on ground ball so far today. Great hustle, great hustle, great ground ball there. And this is Bryce Brochu. Brochu turning the corner, shot goal. You can't let Brochu turn the corner lefty. They left Christian Kacha hanging out to the dry there. The Panther goalie, very little chance on that one. Bryce Brochu with the strong lefty take. He's got that good, nice Canadian swag going on. And some flow. The, the Florida guys are rocking excessive flow. Coach of Florida Tech, Ryan McAvee. They do an amazing job. And of course, Willie Jesuit, Landon Del Prince, the head coach. Great staffs. And I know they are all jacked up to be here at home. Woodfield, 8 10 left first quarter. Wheeling Jesuit doing a great job at the faceoff X, even against FIT's uh, strong stud, Fogo, Travis Wonder. Derek Downs possessed it for a moment. And now it's Sean Height, number 18, Sean Height up top. And that's Downs with the flow. Downs pinballs the inside. He's got Fitzmartin on the far side who wants it. Shot just wide, that one offered by Matty Lee. First quarter brought to you by the Under Armour All-American Underclass tryout and today's entire event by Thunder Bay Apparel. We got the two lefty Canadians, Lee and Downs. See if uh, they can match up and get a little two-man game going as well. And here's Lee behind the cage. Inside feed. They maintain possession. Select zone five, save your aircraft. Live the fight another day. Ball deflected on the way through. And Sean Height draws the push. And it'll be Cardinal Ball. Willie Jesuit in white. Florida Tech Panthers in black. Feel it. Ooh. Oh, post toasties. And Matty Lee grinding in there to try and get it. Gets called the interference. And Christian Koch leads the clear for the Panthers. Two to one your score now. Cardinals up.
look for everyone to get a touch right here, Book. Yeah, they need to spend a little time on that offensive end. As Matty Weinstein, the freshman. And this is Martin. Nick Brown up top, driving right-handed. Gets it inside. Baccarella feeling out, looking to feed here off this dodge. Shot wide, backed up effectively by the Panthers. Inside feed, and ladies and gentlemen, just like the day after a bad chili cook-off, we're not at a deuces. There you go, big 2-2 big two -two there, Cody Martin with a strong take. And I like the way number 50, Tyler Covey's playing as well, the freshman out of Westminster. 50's a big boy, knows how to get to the cage. Somewhere, Matty Cruz is smiling. Let's see if Travis Wonder can uh, finally get a good, good win here off the draw. Activity here on the face. I like the new rule where they, they've gotten the wing play involved more and more. It allows for more of a scrappier game going yep. on now, too. A little bit more excited uh, and excitement to the game as well. Number 14, Riley Ford, doing the legwork on that clear. And this is Brett Polmeyer. Now he shares it up top, number 32. Logan Sweeney, the freshman out of Sykesville, went to Liberty High School. They have 22 guys on the roster from the state of Maryland on the Panther squad, 11 freshmen from Maryland. It's the hot bet, yeah. hot bet of lacrosse right here. And another great ground ball play by 21, Scotty Gwynn. Sophomore out of Sykesville. So it's a home game for a lot of these fellers. Representing Maryland proud. Smooth Sammy Horning. He's going to wheel it out. And he's got a little something cooking here. He's got a man open to the low side trail check. Backed up, and the Cardinals will go on offense with 355 remaining here first quarter. Thunder Bay Apparel doing everything they can to bring you great Division II lacrosse. One of the leading leaders and educationers for Thunder Bay. Wheeling's been great here pushing the ball. Great two-man matchup there, head-to-head. -head. Two brochu was grinding in there, couldn't get make anything happen. They're short pulling him now. Here's Fitz Martin. Look for Brochu to yeah. take it with the shorty. Yep. This is two guys sizing each other, saying, You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. Brochu gets a little bit of a stick. Great feed. Talk about a money feed. There's That's that a Canadian dime. Tonic. That is a deal for dime right there. Derek Downs with the layup out of Toronto. Went to Hill Academy. Brody Merrill. Brody Merrill, the great long stickman from Georgetown. A bit of a game changer. That's the Canadian swag right there. Brochu to Downs. The Toronto hookup. Wheeling Jesuits got some scrappy wing players in uh, their D mids and, and their long stick middies. So look for them to uh, get into the mix here with, with the face off X. Derek Downs just chilling on that back pipe saying, I'll be your Doug. Great face off win that time for the Panthers. They look to make something happen. They need a counter here. Cody Martin. 
once again finds a way to just establish a nice tempo for him. And here's Weinstein subbing through the midfield as big time Jason Terry out of Calvert Hall. As the clock winks down to the two minute mark here, first quarter. Weinstein shot off the helmet. Hit something on the way through. Baccarella, and now it's Martin up top. Shot, oh, ring and iron. Good strong dodge down the right alley right there. And that shot in and of itself was the reason I didn't play goalie. I don't blame you. <laughs> it hit the post nice and hard. If that was my leg or shoulder, done. Retirement. Peyton Manning and I would be in the same boat. <laughs> Zugelter looking to make something happen. Shares it with Morissette. Desk pop. That's the first desk pop of the night. Yeah. When was your last desk pop? September 08. Oh, and at one good turnover deserves another. And that could be a foul. No flags flying. That will be a foul. That might be a foul, too. Downs, the scrappy little Canadian. He's drawing some lumber. A lot of lumber. He was eating all those checks, and he still managed to keep the ball on a stick. The man ups tonight brought to you by Riley's Oyster. Three locations in the Baltimore area. Fed Hill, Mount Vernon, and Pannonia Road. Riley's Oyster. He was a bold man who first ate an oyster. I went to Riley's last night. I got the original, the Maryland oysters there. There you they're go. Great. The Chesapeake yeah. Bay oysters is what they're called. About half a dozen, for $12. Not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby. Too bad your man Cole Corgan wasn't shucking those oysters. Little issue with the timing here. 46 seconds left in the quarter. Cardinals up 3 2, looking to double the lead. Bro shoots it. Oh, stinging it. Apple bottom jeans and boots with the fur. He had the whole club looking at her. He hit the flow. Should have got low. He wanted that the whole time. Bringing it, slinging it, stinging it. Lefty laser yeah. right there. Absolute cannon. Nothing better. Yeah. Four to two now, your score. Cardinals. Having their way right now in the first quarter. That's a violation. And Travis Wonder. Panthers have done okay here on the faceoff so far tonight. 22 seconds now in the quarter. Baccarella trying to make something happen. He's being minded by your man Jack Bladenberg, junior defenseman out of St. Mary's Riken. Ball goes on the turf. Oh, some lumber being thrown late. A little bounce pass, it's gonna get through. Three seconds to shoot. Unable to get it off and that will do it for the first quarter brought to you by Under Armour All-American Underclass Tryout. Go to underarmorlacrosse.com and learn how you can be a part of the best recruiting event of the entire summer.
second quarter set to go here. Wheeling Jesuit in their home whites, Florida Tech, Road Blacks, four to two year score Cardinals on top. Booker Corgan, Taylor Studhoff bringing you the call. Second quarter brought to you by the NSCLA National Cup. Best club teams in the country meet at Lebanon Valley College for the NSCLA Cup. And a nice possession save. Yet the ball pinballs. Desperation heaved that time by 28. Kenny Keys. And now we got a little chaos. A little physical lacrosse part of the game. And now we're going to get the, the ball was down when the flag flew. The, the referee is correct. I know the, and Wheeling Jesuit's going to go back on the man up. And we will learn of the foul. Officials for tonight's game. Charlie Watts, Ronnie Wood, and Keith Richards. Super scrappy game so far, too. Love to see the physical uh, play by both teams there, too. Smooth Maddie Lee starts with it. Up top to Bryce Brochu. Brochu up top. Shot, goal. Quick release that time, number 24, Derek Downs. And it's five to two Cardinals. And like we said, Wheeling Jesuit came in at 0-2. They're a darn good 0-2 team. They got a big chip on their shoulders right now. You can see it going. They lost the tight one to Mercyhurst. Mercyhurst has been in the national championship game for D2 for years. They're a staple in the D2 uh, Final Four championship weekend, too. Wander and Hodel back at the faceoff dot. Now we get a violation here against the Panthers. And now we're getting a reset. Referee Keith Richards, one of the more active refs in all of college lacrosse. Guy who can get up and down the field like the dinosaur scales that he wears. They still got a man up right now. Look for uh, the two lefties, Brochu and Downs, to make something happen again as well. Inside feed. Aaron passed that time. Could have gotten a push on the loose ball. I think the officials kind of want to let it go. Let him play it out. Christian Koch, amazing goaltender for the Panthers. Koch with no pressure right now. 12 seconds remaining on the man down. Man down brought to you by Riley's Oyster. Three locations. He was a bold man who first ate an oyster. Panthers having trouble clearing there as well. Gives Wheeling the ball right back. Panthers kill off the penalty. Jesuit will get right into their offense now. Look for them to attack quick. They've been doing it the whole entire game. Yep. No backup this time, and Koch gets it. The Cardinal offense that, that time looked like a kid with a cassette tape in one hand and an iPhone in the other trying to get Taylor Swift to go to the prom with him. A little bit discombobulated. Did that never happen for you? I couldn't get her to go to the prom with me. Of course, she wasn't born yet when I went to my prom, so it was a little bit more awkward. And this is your main man, Taylor Covey, out of Loyola Blakefield. Covey, the big left-hander for the Panthers. And here's Weinstein. Weinstein and Terry rounding out the midfield along with Alex Carlson. Weinstein's got the pole. Yeah. Scotty Gwynn, he's been all over him all night. Zugelter. Box 
Rock and Roll doing a nice job just feeling his man out, not forcing things. Letting the game come to him. Covey inside shot, handled well by Lilly. Great save, Tyler Covey using that big body and big frame of his to try to get the upper hand there. Didn't do so though. You got Minnesota Mike carrying yeah. the ball down the field now. Little Stillings getting the job done out of Apple Valley, Minnesota. I wonder when they're in Apple Valley, do they compare apples to oranges? I wouldn't know. I haven't traveled east of east of the Mississippi in a while. Or west? Or west. Correction. <laughs> yeah, I know those Penn Staters, it's tough <laughs> directions, more of a higher level class, like a 400, 500 level class. I was certainly yeah. not a geography major there. <laughs> Evidently not. Much. <laughs> Big Mike Stillings, the 6'2 sophomore. Here's Still. Brochu. Brochu. Little swim move by down shot saved by Christian Koch. Going down low. And two guys kind of, neither one knew to whom it was intended. And Jason Terry scoops up the loose change. Ten and a half minutes remaining, second quarter. Aaron pass there. And we had a procedure violation playing from out of bounds. We're playing without a stick. And the star. Matt Lilly, unable, Matt Lee, sorry, unable to get it going. That's got to be a foul. That's a, the trip is the worst rule because no one intends to trip anyone. It's always an act. It should be a 30-second foul. That's it's a real, my one thing on the rules. It's yep. a real hair puller for the coaches, yep. though. Yep, because you don't mean to trip him. And the referee can't gauge intent. He can't say, well, he meant it or not. He just... You make the guy fall, it's a trip. Beginning of the season, you got thick, blonde, luscious hair. Yeah. End of the season, nothing. Yeah. Completely bald. <laughs> it's, it happens to every coach. Panthers with the flag down. They know they're going to get possession no matter what happens. And this is Riley Ford, freshman out of South River High School. goes on the ground and now we will learn the foul. I wouldn't be surprised if he downgrades it to a hold. He did. He downgraded it to a technical foul hold. This is a good opportunity for, Will, uh, for Florida Tech to get back on the board and get some momentum back in this game. Panthers trailing five to two. This man up brought to you by Riley's Oyster. Fed Hill, Mount Vernon and Pedonia Road, Riley's Oyster. Be bold play of the game will be coming all year long on CSC TV. Booker Corrigan, Taylor Stodoff bringing you the call from home Woodfield. Great outdoor deck and the Pedonia Riley's yeah. Oyster House. Real good. Justin Whitfeld, number 31, man up specialist for the Panthers. I was told to keep an eye on him. Here is Whitfeld. Good ball movement. Great side pass it. Outside high, no bounce shot. That's a that's rough sled. That's what we like to call popcorn. Luke Gilman, the midfielder, senior out of broad neck high. There's a lot of hometown heroes here. Tons. Broad neck high. He had to play with my man James Dunn. Wheeling, subbing, getting into their L. Killed off the penalty. A lot of time left here in the second quarter. Brought to you by the NSCLA National Cup at Lebanon Valley College this summer. Go to NSCLA.com and find out how you can sign up. Inside feed, Aaron. It's been fun to watch these Wheeling, these, uh, Wheeling Jesuit offense play. I mean, they, they play fast and they like to really pick up the tempo here. Not a lot of slow ball here. Yeah. 
Sam Horning, number 11, will split right to left. Comes out inside feed, no dice. <laughs> you hear the, the wheeling coaches yelling shot. Clearly not a shot. Veteran move yeah. there by the wheeling coach, though. No doubt. And an even more veteran move by referee Ron Wood. And there's the easy clear for the Panthers as they need to make something happen. Down by three here with seven minutes to go in second quarter. Thunder Bay Apparel bringing you Division II lacrosse from Johns Hopkins Homewood Field. Oh, hard driving. He is feeling it. Driving hard right-handed. Cody Martin. That's exactly what the Florida Tech Panthers need to get back on the board. 100% certified for realsies. That's what they needed. They got some loud fans here, too. 5-3 has a much sweeter ring to it if you're Florida Tech. Made it look easy there. I'll tell you right now, Wonder's on a heater, and you don't walk away from a heater. Six, and here's Covey. Baccarella now. Baccarella shot. And Lily equal as he wrestles it up. Eating that up like cold pizza. <laughs> cold pizza with a little extra sauce. Efficient clearing today. Very smooth by both teams. Uh, Wheeling's definitely doing a great job of getting it up and out, as we like to say. And Florida Tech Panther, they just seem to systematically find the open guy, get him the ball. It's a seven on six advantage, right? You don't always have to just run the ball out. Matt Lee, inside feed, knocked away. Great ground ball, we got long ball action. Pass is picked off. A heady play in the middle of the field. Oh, and Matt Lee will come away. Matty Lee is really pressing it right now, but appropriately. He's not over pressing. Absolutely, and he's playing hard uh, as well. Leading scorer from a year ago. You don't always see the attackman hustling all the way up to the midfield, so that's that's great hustle. I'm sure his coaches love to see that out of one of their star players. He turned. Oh, that's that's a call that they're going to have to live with as they scoop it. Big number six, Jason Terry for the FIT Panthers with uh, with that foul there. Yeah, I think they called on 31. I apologize, oh, Justin Whitfeld with it. I, I hate to jump on you there, but I don't want the Terrys to get in your face about calling him for a penalty when he won. Sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Terry. Yeah, that, of course. A thousand apologies. <laughs> and here's Lee. Down, Shuhite and Lee. Little box fake. Or a sky whammy, as we sky like to call it. Sky whammy. Bam! Oh, you know he likes that! We got the hot gun right now. He's down with OPP. Other people's passes. The Canadian connection there between those two, they have Zookelter 
Five of the six goals, I believe. Downs and Brochu, the connection. Four oh seven to go, six to three. Your score. Cardinals over the Panthers. We only judge with Cardinals in their whites. Florida Tech Panthers in the black. It hits all over the place. Loose ball, push. Referee Charlie Watts. He doesn't miss that call ever. Ever. Riley Ford, number 14, doing a great job on wings on face. A lot of guys going postal today. Cody Martin that time. That's his second one today. Yeah, Minnesota Mike with the ball again. Mikey Schillings wheeling. Goes to his knees. Great ride here, too, by the Panthers. Oh, sh pass deflected off black. Deflected by number five on Florida Tech. Grant Hughes, the sophomore out of Windermere, Florida. Next door neighbors with Tiger Woods, who I think is a, uh, is like the sixth man for the Sixers for a little while. No. He's a sailor. Uh, no, he's a golfer. Golf. golf yep, yep, yep. This, this is golf. That's right. I think he played with Happy Gilmore, if I'm not mistaken. Bob Barker in the Pro-Am. stuff going on. A little inside move opportunity. Oh, Sky Whammy. Oh, the Still Monster. Mike Stillings. The big man with the righty cannon. And Florida Tech down 7-3. They're going to take a timeout. Second quarter brought to you by the NSCLA National Cup. It happens at Lebanon Valley College. Get there this summer. continues to unfold here at Homewood Field as Wheeling Jesuit up 7-3, but they get busted with an illegal stick, and it's going to be the Florida Tech Panthers, the beneficiaries. It's a one-minute foul. Illegal stick call on number 24, Derek Downs. Canadian connection, taking a little bit of a lump there. Absolutely, that hurts. That hurts Wheeling Jesuit and gives Florida Tech some big time momentum Did now. Did you ever get caught with an illegal stick? Never. Clean living. Me either. I had what was called a racket. Yeah, I played with a very tight pocket as well. I played, for the le I played for the legendary Bobby Shriver, yeah. and if he ever caught me with a uh, legal stick, it'd be game over for me. Yeah. Panthers in a 2-2-2 two, two, two here on man up, rolling a guy off. Here's Whitfeld, 31, shot up top. No dice. I like to see Charlie Moore set down there. down the back side, the Deuce Meister. No dice on the shot for Cody Martin. Look for Cody Martin to get on the board soon. And there's Cody 
Cody Martin getting on the board soon. Great little sneak by him. Defender didn't even pick him up. Great call by Taylor Sodoff. Not a bad play at all. They needed the man up. Seven to four year score now. 127 left in the half. A beautiful night here in Baltimore, Maryland. Because of that stick penalty yep. too. They're still man up. Man up face off for the Wonder Kid. And Willie Jesuit sends out Hodel. He rakes Great it over the off. open man. Yep, I might take a time out if I'm Florida Tech. Get your man upset. The Wonder Boy, yeah. Travis Wonder, with a great face there. Number 32, Logan Sweeney drives into the crease. Will Height coming around again. Open guy up top. They force it inside. He's pushed in the crease. That's a great call by referee Keith Richards. Whitfelt driving lefty. Draws the ire of defenseman number 30, Jack Bradenburg. And now we get a timeout by Florida Tech. We will step away as well, but investigate the NSCLA National Cup at Lebanon Valley College. And welcome to my house. Baby, take control now. Booker Corgan, Taylor Stodoff here with the call. 51 seconds, Taylor, Florida Tech has the ball. What do you expect out of them? No, I, I expect some kind of, uh, not say one for one, but uh, you know, some kind of mumbo play pick to get some of their best guys open. Like we said earlier, Cody Martin just scored. That's one of their best guys right there. They really want him to get the ball. Short stick behind the cage now. As Florida Tech's Charlie Morris set. Oh, inside feed. Hubby can't get off the shot. 30 seconds now remaining in the half. Shot off his knees. I tell you what, number six, Jason Terry out of Calvert Hall. It's a big time shot. That's an athletic play right there, too. No replacement for a shot on the cage. 23.5 seconds left in the half. Time for the Panthers to run a play and then still maintain possession. Absolutely. Penalty carries over, and if they have possession when the horn blows to end the half, they will not have a faceoff. And Willie Jesuit's going to take a timeout. NSCLA National Cup. Check it out at Lebanon Valley College. I got the magic in me. Let's go. Touch that track, it turns into gold. Norman with a good voice. He has the back of 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 the back Coming out of the timeout, Panthers set it up with Justin Whitfeld. Freshman out of McDonough School. Coach Andy Hogart, an amazing coach at the high school level. 14 seconds, they are going to maintain possession, Taylor. We talked and we speculated would they hold it or not as the clock winds down here with five to go. Definitely a smart play. See if they can get anything right off the bat. If not, just settle it. Yep. There will be no faceoff to start the third quarter. The Panthers will start with possession, and we will be back with the halftime show. Corrigan Sports Enterprises is a full-service sports marketing and event management company. Every detail from public relations to logistics and cleanup, CSE is experienced in handling events from conception to fruition. The premier lacrosse recruiting tournaments, high-profile running events, CSE does it all. Corrigan Sports Enterprises, bringing your dreams to life. 
halftime here on CSE TV. Booker Corgan, Taylor Sodoff. Halftime brought to you by the NCAA Future Champions Tournament Memorial Day weekend right across the bridge from Philadelphia and West Deptford, New Jersey. The NCAA Future Champions Tournament. Taylor, your impressions of the first half for Wheeling Jesuit and Florida Tech? Yeah, it's been really up and down ball by both teams here. Almost like a D1 game. We would never have thought that they were D2 teams here. And who's blown you away for Wheeling Jesuit so far? Uh, we've been calling it all night the Canadian connection between Derek Downs and Brochu. They've been doing a great job. Two lefties out of Ontario. Gotta love that. Goaltender for the Panthers, Christian Koch. He's, he's done a, an admirable job, but those guys, can they can score at times. Yeah, the Maryland native is really seeing the ball, um, but, man, he's getting a lot of shots taken on him so far. We'll be back with the third quarter faceoff. Remember, the NCAA F Future Champions Tournament takes place Memorial Day weekend right across the bridge in West Deptford, New Jersey. Real smart decision by them keeping the ball. Even though they don't capitalize on the man up, they still have the ball right off the gate, second half. Third quarter brought to you by the Maryland Rough Riders Lacrosse Club. Part of that NSCLA, the Maryland Rough Riders. Follow them on Twitter, at Maryland Rough Riders. Here's the Panthers shot just high. Florida Tech Panthers in their road blacks, Wheeling Jesuit Cardinals home whites. Booker Corrigan joined by former Penn State all everything midfielder Taylor Stodoff, one of the absolute greats. Here's Martin, shot pinballs to the turf. Great ground ball pickup by Baccarella. Oh, and that's an errant pass, little sidearm slinger there. After a great ground ball there, real poor pass. Look for and the Panthers to uh, ride hard, though. Yeah, the, the Cardinals set to clear, and they look like they're in no hurry right now. They have 30 seconds to get it in the box. They're definitely taking their time. Smart play. They've been uh, clearing the ball very well for Let's the first honest, half. Hey, what's right is right. Good clear for them. Extremely patient clear. Look for them to get all their offensive guys out right now as well. Downs and Brochu, the stars of that first half. Number 14, Matt Lee, returning leading scorer, somewhat neutralized. He's been the focus of that Panther defense. That's opened it up a little bit for Downs and Brochu. Absolutely, they're definitely taking full advantage. Sometimes they're getting the, the shorty as well. So it's been a great time for them to, to let it go and, and dodge hard. Number 18, Shoe Height, for the do-everything midfielder for the Cardinals. And this is Horning. Horning, stripped Dilliusius by Weinstein, but he gets it back. A pair of 11's doing battle right there. Oh, great backdoor cut that time. Brochu shot, feeling it. Kicked aside by Koch. That's got to feel good for Koch right there. And they get the ball back as well. Great defensive hustle by the Panthers. And we talked about that in the first half, Taylor. It really can change momentum of a game. Yeah, you see the, you see the Panther sideline get up, get excited, really gets them back into the game. Efficient clearing by the Panthers as Logan Sweeney, the Liberty High School grad, does the clearing duties. Number three, Tate Beeson. Checking in out of East Chapel Hill High School. Baccarella looking to share it. Baccarella, the senior, really wants to carry the ball and, and make something happen for his team right here. Charlie Morrison driven to the turf. And here's Beeson. Beeson lefty alley. 
Little man Tate driving hard to the cage. Brett Polmeyer here for the Panthers as well. Take a little dodge. Beeson pushes it behind. And here's Baccarella. Looking to accelerate. He's little, but he's fast. Great six on six defense right now by Wheeling Jesuit. Absolutely, definitely playing as a unit. No one's really been on an island so far. It's looked really, really good for them. Well, two on one ground ball opportunity, and that's gonna be a push. Twenty-two Cody Martin out of Middletown High School in Maryland, former teammate of the John Galloway, Christian Ottenritter. A couple absolute stars, the old Middletown teams went to the state championship game back in his day at Middletown. And here's Logan Sweeney. Shares it with Baccarella. Two-man game with Sweeney. Sweeney has top side. Uh, great Strict defensive play. Delicious. Ground ball picked up by Beeson. The Panthers get it back again. Good momentum swing. Extended possession. Here's Martin. Cody Martin. Baccarella. Trying to dodge the middle of the field. Really trying to draw that double there. Rocking that two-man game. Shot just high. No, we like to call that the possession shot. Yep. Nothing wrong with the good old possession shot. Same possession, and gives you a chance to run an inbounds play if you so desire. Absolutely. Panthers subbing through the midline. Big time Tyler Covey coming in. The lefty plays a little bit of pass up top with Logan Sweeney. They had him down at attack first half and taking him out from the box the second half. Nice off hip shot. I like the intensity. Brett Pohlmeyer. He's really dodging hard, trying to get to the cage and draw the double as well. Great, Great team. double team defense right there. Great slide too. Saw ba Baccarelli at the back of his helmet. It's a good time for him to slide. Subbing guys off as they clear. No time problem yet. Seven to four year score here. Third quarter brought to you by the Maryland Rough Riders Lacrosse Club. Ride or die. Hashtag Rough Rider Nation. Great clear by Wheeling Jesuit. Yep. You know what they have? Poise. Patience and poise. Got to have some kahunas yep. to have some poise. I don't know if you can take it on the air. Cardinal settling things down. This is big man Mike Stillings. Turn, looks to turn the corner. And we got a hot sloppy mess there down by the crease. Downs. Matty Lee cutting without the ball there. It's a great, great save by Christian Koch. He's really feeling it, seeing the ball very well. Mike Stillings, a low worm burner. As the clock trickles below the seven minute mark here. Wheeling Jesuit home whites, Florida Tech Panthers in their road blacks. Panthers have had the ball for um, most of the quarter so far. Yep. With not much to show, they started with that man up. Be interesting to see how this game evolves. I've been impressed with the play of Justin Whitfield out of McDonough School. Great player, and here's downtown, Derek Downs. Shot goal! 
Sound the bell. School's in, sucker. And there, there you go. The Alliteration Brothers back at it oh, again. Yeah. Derek Downs. Oh, my bad. Bryce Brochu to Derek Downs. Yeah. BB to DD. Couple guys out of Ontario. There's a town in North Ontario. All my memories are there. A little Neil Young for you. All my exes live in Texas. <laughs> Even Alexis Texas lives in Texas. I don't know oh, if you can inside say that feed. Hey, Baccarella. You gotta love Brian Baccarella with the goal off the faceoff. He passed the wonder lick test, drives it down the teeth of the defense, and it's eight to five. That's exactly what the Panthers need to get back into the game. Hey, Baccarella, you ready for that? Yeah. I like that one. Florida Tech coming out with Teddy Chase, the junior out of Winner's Milk. Teddy Chase, number 37, getting some run here in his home state. He's out of Westminster. Sam Horning with another ground ball. He's done very well on the wings. Yes. Won a lot of those 50-50 balls uh, that are really big oh. in games like this. And that's a loose ball push against the Panthers. So this next goal is a vital one. Oh, a little backdoor for downtowner. Oh, Cox fights it off. And I'll tell you, 37, Teddy Chase put his shoulder into the downer. Clean hit there. Big tree falls hard. Yeah. McLean Fitzmartin, number seven, and of course, Derek Downs. And here's Matt Lee, showing the speed that helped him lead the team in scoring last year, but he's allowed the game to come to him. Very impressed with him tonight. Great D there by the Panthers, big hit. Opportunistic. Sam Horning with another ground ball. Oh, and there's your connection again. The Broke Canadian connection. Yep. The scrappy play by Sam Horning, though, to get that ground ball. Got that Canadian connection, though. That was great. And that spreads the lead back to four with 5.13 to go third quarter. Brought to you by the Maryland Rough Riders Lacrosse Club. Proud to have so many alums of the Maryland Rough Riders playing Division I, Division II, or Division III lacrosse, but more importantly, going out to the world to be good people. Coaching the whole child, Taylor. Coaching the whole child. Just like your man Bob Shriver. That's right. The greatest. Tell you what, Travis Wonder is doing work at the faceoff. Oh, nifty little toe, toe drag, feed. Now we had a stoppage. Oh, he shot wide, right? He, he didn't score the shot. I, he did not score. I was looking for the whistle. <laughs> it's a tough one for the coach, but they bailed him out. Nine to five, your score. Your score, third quarter, five minutes left, and another illegal stick called against the Canadians. The same guy, Derek Towns, called without one. It was approached you the first time. I can't. It was not. It was still Derek Towns. I don't recollect it. And they're now they're thinking. That, I'll tell you what, if he scores a goal, the next goal he scores, I think they're going to call for a stick check because it takes the goal off the board. Is that right? Yes. So it'll be interesting to see how that evolves. I was talking earlier about how impressed I am with freshman Justin Whitfeld out of McDonough School. The MIA, so many great character developing coaches. Andy Hilgartner, certainly at the top of that. Bob Shriver, Brian Kelly, Brooks Matthews, Rick Picado. 
Ben Rubior. My the back's hurting from the on. name drops. Yeah, the list goes on and on of just outstanding men who lead these youngsters. Little right side roll off. Panthers still looking to help themselves cut into the lead. Logan Sweeney shot. Hey, big time shot by Cody Martin. That's a way to capitalize on those man ups there. Make them pay, and I, it's going to be a man up face off now. Absolutely. The Panthers have had a, a ton of opportunities on man ups here tonight. Yep. Now they're really starting to, to get their flow, to feel it out more. Let's see if they can capitalize more on, on, these, on these man ups that they have. And credit number 15, Nick Brown with doing work. He's out of Denver, Pennsylvania. That one will confuse you. Yeah. Denver, the Sunshine State, out there, gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. Florida Tech fans, they came to cheer. Here on a gorgeous night at Johns Hopkins Homewood Field, Booker Corrigan, Taylor stowed off, and Wonder is going to get called with a push, which he clearly did. Not a bad call. And these guys can't come out of the box. We got guys coming up to set picks. <laughs> They're going back now. That's another vet move right there, trying to be slick. You can't, you can't fault their hustle. Panthers are trying to double team yeah, now. And the Panthers are off sides. Two, four, six, yeah. He's counting them. They're gonna sort it all out. As Willie Jesuits number seven, McLean Fitzmartin kills off the penalty and your main man, Sammy Horning. There's Sammy. He's got the wheels. He'll just run around yep. for days. Like a young. Yep. Young Donnie Baker. He there we go. Righty for days, go. lefty for days. Oh, threw it away though. Look at this. They're gonna clear it out now. Nifty little spin move that time. Nick Brown. Oh, Aaron Feed, and that will cost him 346 to go here in the quarter. And look at Sam Horning right to the open spot. Look at this. And they'll slow it down. Matt Lee, number 14, can't say enough good things about his ability to be patient and allow the game to come to him. Horning and Fitz Martin up top. Third quarter brought to you by Maryland Rough Riders. One of the top lacrosse clubs in the country, Maryland Rough Riders. And of course, a huge thank you to Thunder Bay Apparel. If you're looking for a great button-down, tank tops, t-shirts, ties, belts. The softest to, polos, the softest. Great polos. Get to Thunder Bay Apparel. Thunder Bay Apparel, like them on Facebook. Sammy Horning brings out the intensity to number 14, Riley Ford. Ford still going at him. Good D by Ford there. Here's Downs. Brochu, getting that lefty top side. He's got a shorty on him. Look for him to dodge now. Defender Nathan Howard. Early slide, you can see that coming. Brochu, and now it's back to Brochu. Inside feed, shot, goal. Great finish by your main man. Great Sandy handle, Horning. great handle. Great handle by Sammy Horning. And that makes it 10 to six with 2.11 to go in the quarter. That's tremendous hand-eye coordination, but it takes an incredible amount of concentration as yeah. well. And a little bit of courage, because you're gonna get some lumber, right? Absolutely, every time. You catch, you catch the ball in the crease, you're gonna, you're gonna feel some titanium. Hodel and Wonder back at the face-off dot. Violation and Hodel gaining some momentum here. Wonder doing some work earlier.
10 to 6. Florida Tech just hasn't been able to close that gap to one goal. They've had plenty of opportunities. They flirted with some two goal deficits, but. And here's your main man, Mike Stillings. Minnesota Mike. Out of East View High School. Dillings, the beef dog. Yeah, we get a timeout, and we will step away as well. 118 to go, third quarter, CSE TV game of the week. Double team coming out of the timeout by the Panthers. Derek Downs, I wasn't expecting that, but he is going to wheel it as the clock winks down to the one minute mark here, third quarter. Tell you they come out of that timeout. There's two Panther defensemen. So I'm gonna cook up some eggs, get some toast and jelly, put a whooping on you. And Derek Down said, I can run for days. <laughs> Say, you're not afraid of me. Derek Downs never had Tommy John surgery in either knee, so he's good. <laughs> right, right. I like how Wheeling Jesuit's still attacking as well. Jesuits number 10, Trenton Kindle out of Westerville, Ohio. Here's Downs. Back to Kindle. Kindle wants the invert. 15 seconds in the quarter. Little fake flip. Gains the edge. Loses his footing. Rats are oh. letting him play. Oh, nifty oh little hockey play with five seconds in the quarter. That's unfortunate for the Panthers because they could have had two, one. Oh, and we drew a flag, though. Flag denotes possession. There will be no face-off to start the fourth quarter. We'll see you then. You ain't as scared of me. <laughs> will start on the man up. Fourth quarter brought to you by the Paradise Shootout. Early in November each year, the Northeast is bitten by old Jack Frost, but Paradise awaits in Naples, Florida. The STX Paradise Shootout, make sure you check it out. It is fantastic. It happens at North Collier Regional Park. Some of the best lacrosse in the state of Florida all year round. You know who's been getting a lot of good playing time? The man down for Wheeling Jesuit. Yes, but you know what? They have been excellent. They've held them to not too many goals of, from all the minutes that they've been playing so far. Yeah. And a great save right there by Jake Lilly. On a bounce pass out of the 3-3. Three, three. And the running clear by Wheeling Jesuit number six, Luke Gilman. Senior out of Broadneck High School. Luke Gilman doing work. A and dirty nap down. down. <laughs> Derek Downs double teamed. Oh, sick rap check. Oh, ball, pinball's out of the stick, and now it's going to be a hotly contested ground ball. Good man ball right there. Christian Koch makes the easy pass to number 15, Nikki Brown. Great body, used his shoulder, super legal. Here's Whitfelt. And the intensity picks up a real sense of urgency on both sides. Great double team by the Panther defense on Derek Downs there. Let's get that ball back. Baccarelli behind, and now it's up top. Logan Sweeney playing a little two-man game. Baccarella, and here's Cody Martin. Baccarella wants a little pick action. Oh, and that's a moving pick. We're in the crease. One of the two. 
Cody, they didn't time that very well. Nope. Great, great ride, though. Play. Absolutely, great ride. Ball was kicked out of bounds by number seven. You can see it. Willie Jesuit just didn't want to admit it. Brett Polmeyer. At Severna Park High School, the wealth of the state of Maryland represented here for the Panthers. Let's see if the Panthers can capitalize this time. Big number 50, Tyler Covey coming out from the box. One of the things I'm starting to understand is all these guys from Maryland, they go down, they play in the Naples SDX Paradise Shootout in Naples. They check out the recruiting opportunity at Florida Tech, and they stay for four years. Absolutely, nothing like, it, nothing like some lacrosse and some sunshine. And a goalie took one right in the mommy and daddy button. Scotty Gwynn with a great, great dip and move. Jake Lilly not happy with his location right there. 11.55 left in the fourth quarter, brought to you by the STX Paradise Shootout. We'll be back. And now we got something cooking right now by Wheeling Jesuit getting all guys. Look like they were doing armadillo right I there. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Going old school. Your man, smooth Sammy Hornick starting with it. A lot of fourth quarter left. But the Panthers need to start chopping into that lead. Look for Horning to dodge. We get a little zone here out of uh, the Panthers. Yeah. Right off a of, right off a of timeout or, or injured injured person. It's great to go into. Ooh. Sammy Horning wanted that one. He's trying to find that gap there and sling it. Derek Downs with the backup. Christian Koch tracking that one nicely. A little Ward. And here's Hornick. Coming off the zone D there, really forces the offense to play that, that zone O, or yep. forces the coach to, to call a timeout yep. as well, which is could be, in the end, a bad thing. Could, could be costly for them. Could come back to haunt you. And they've gone back to man now. Here's Sammy Hornick. Goes topside under. And now gains some soul. He's a hard dodger. Yeah. Quick one way, quick the other. Looks like he's skating out now, there. Now tell her, you played midfield. In, in high school as an offensive midi, did you find you had a common miss? Did you miss wide right, over the cage, wide left, across your body? Was there a, an area that you struggled with? I would have to say right over the cage. Uh, you know, trying to hit those corners, I like to say yep. aim small, miss small, right? Yep. Michael Shoothut. Check out this name right here, number seven, McLean Fitzmartin. Yeah. Is that four names in the one? Mac, Lean, Fitz, and Martin. All I came to the party. Yeah. <laughs> I got too many guys on the field. Inside feed, shot, goal, tidy little finish. And there he is, number 14, Matty Lee. First goal of the game for Matty, if I'm not mistaken. 11 6 your score now. Finally, the last, the last Canadian is uh, on the board. So let me join that party. Yeah. Welcome to the party. Party of two, not yeah. anymore. Mr. Four name himself too, McLean Fitzmartin with that assist. 
the sophomore out of Columbus, Ohio. Violation against Hodel. Wonder turns and gets it to Weinstein. Austin Zugelter, 24 in the game now, along with number six, Jason Terry. Nice face-off win for Wonder there. Fourth quarter brought to you by the STX Paradise Shootout, Naples, Florida. The STX Paradise Shootout. Why get frostbite when you can get sunburn? Here's Cody Martin. Covey wants it behind the cage. Weinstein pushes it. Here's Covey behind the cage. Wants that left hand dodge. Draws pressure, rolls back. Baccarella. Get a little high check. Tries a bounce pass, and that will bring up the call. Gets it out of bounds. And with 8.09 to go here in the fourth, the man up unit for the Florida Tech Panthers will need to get some work done. Wheeling Jesuits going for the world record of most penalty yeah. minutes. Congratulations. <laughs> they are getting at Oh, now we have the goaltender Jake Lilly back into the cage. Noble work done by Colin Smith leading the defense. Had to get his 15 minutes yep. of fame in as well. Just like you. Absolutely. Baccarella behind the cage. The roll off. Baccarella inside. Oh, thrown to the turf. You don't just need to sit yourself down. Baccarella quick to get back up, and that. It's a physical game, it's a contact sport, but that was to the head. And they're gonna call that these days. Number 15 for Wheeling Jesuit, Zach Crabtree. A little bit bigger than Baccarella, so was, you know, in order for him to actually hit him legally, he should have went yeah. a lot lower. Yep. Get the pad, pad level. Yep. And Baccarella. Full time call. Baccarella's a tough kid though, getting right back up. <laughs> The Florida Tech coach wants more. It wasn't even that big a hit, buddy. Two-man advantage here for 15 more seconds. Let's see if Wheeling Jesuit can shut it down, yeah. though. Shot goal. No, sir. Y'all can't stop me. Go hard like I got an 808 in my heartbeat. I don't mean to get the beat like you've been little speed to a great white shark on Shark Week. Baccarella stinging it. He deserved that goal. Yeah, he did. Shows, yeah, he's the one who got the shot to the head. Shows his tenacity, his, t his toughness right there. And he scored with six seconds left in the, so there's still two men up. Yeah. So right now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we, uh, one penalty has to be released. Okay, they did. My bad. I stand corrected. And Wonder wants to pull it this side. He does Great effectively. 11-7, your score now as the Panthers. Charlie Morris at number 10, looking to get in the action right now on the left side. Morris A Little flip Back action. Back to Martin. Baccarella, with up. Shot just wide. It's a good shot for them now. Get the ball right back, getting right back into it. 24 full seconds left in the man up. Baccarella, back to Martin. Slide comes across the crease. Morissette, cross feed. Whitfeld shot just wide. And again, we're gonna go back and check his footwork. Point your toes at the cage. Torque the body, yep. torque the body. Oh, 
slinging it. Baccarella. Putting it right back, baby. Yep. Making things happen. He's trying to juice up the crowd, too. 11-8, and now Wheeling Jesuit has to feel a little bit in the pit of their stomach. Gotta love the enthusiasm from Baccarella there. Oh, uh, well, my baby back, baby back, baby back, Baccarella. Hey, Baccarella. <laughs> Still man up on the faceoff. Wonder's been doing a nice job of clamping and pulling to the near side. The Wonder Boy. Addison Abramson, the long stick, who wants it. But Hodel gets it. Oh, Abramson checks it away. Good GB right there. Abramson yep. never quitting, relentless. Great GB. Nikki Brown. Morissette. Here's Baccarella. Six on six now. Here's Weinstein, number 11, gets it to Martin and Baccarella. Jason Terry out of Loyola Blakefield. Loyola Blakefield, a lot of people pronounce it Calvert Hall. Oh, oh. shot, goal! Count it! The fans are booming here, Book. Austin Zugelter from Vero Beach High School. It's not a jungle, it's a zoo. The are Zugelter. You, are you feeling it, Evil? Fans are going nuts. It's a great Florida Tech showing out here yep. right now. 11 to 9, your score. And again, that pit in the stomach of Wheeling Jesuit. 6-11 to go here, fourth quarter, brought to you by the STX Paradise Shootout. Get there. November, the Naples Beach and Golf Hotel. Unbelievable setting to play lacrosse. Don't get frostbite, get sunburned. Nothing beats coming home in November with a nice tan. And that's gonna be a push. Black ball again. Florida Tech Panthers have it rolling. Some dirty dangles by yep. our boy Abramson there, right? Here's Morissette to the hot hand, Baccarella. And the Tech fans. Getting Austin jiggy with it. Zugelter. Oh, in the middle of the club with a rub and dub. Na 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 na. <laughs> Great take. A lot of confidence yeah. coming from this Florida Panther crew right now. Florida Matt Tech Panther Matt the freshman out of Franklin High School. He's trying to get some crowd love here. Cody Martin wants it, but holds off. Some nice intensity. And that was close to a slash on the back, but they let it go. Got away with one. And Wheeling Jesuit lives the fight another day momentarily. Brochu, struggling with it. Flips it over to Mike Lee. Matt Lee, excuse me. I apologize to the Lee family. Curious to see how long it takes the officials to put a stall warning on as smooth Sammy Horning. Sam Horning, only a sophomore, but definitely playing like a vet here. Yep. I'll tell you, for those of us who don't get to watch enough Division II lacrosse, this is exciting lacrosse, fun, exciting, up and down. Definitely, and that's what you like to see, too. That's what lacrosse is all about, going up and down, playing your heart out. Great check by the D there. And that's going to be an over and back. Baccarella takes it. He can take it on the run. Oh, oh they stopped him there. Pushes it Still back. Still got they good got a numbers. One on this side. 
Oh, face dodge, tidy, so smooth. Jump back, kiss myself. Oh, yeah. Get it done. We got a one goal game. And they're going crazy here right now. You would have thought this was a Hopkins Maryland game going on. And things get a little bit tighter. That was Hayden, no correction here. Grant Hughes, the D mid out of Winnemere, Florida. He's the only one who, just, who was smart enough to stay back yep. in Florida. I'll tell you, there's a four goal deficit. Florida Tech said to really Jesuit, you ain't afraid of me. <laughs> Bartle do now, Bartle do. Bartle do, sheet malt leaky. <laughs> Here's Downs. The fans all yelling, check his stick. I mean, give a guy a break, right? I mean. Only two sticks. Yeah. You gotta need a slide here. Here's Sammy Hardy. He might be a little tired, a little fatigue. Fitz Martin. As Sean Height comes in number 18. Fitz Martin. And we're gonna get speed. we're gonna get a shot clock call here pretty quick after that play. They tipped their hand a little bit with 250 left here in the fourth quarter. STX Paradise shootout and Thunder Bay Apparel. Wow, what a game! Michael Scott Hewitt there. Sean Height. Sean Height. And here's Sammy Horning inverted behind. Sorry to miss it, Mr. and Mrs. Sean Height there. That's a hard, hard one to pronounce. Shot by Horning, just wide. Good backup though. Bryce Brochu with the ball. Let's see what he'll do here. Make him work. And here's Sean Height. To McLean. Yep. Good old Fitz Martin. Fitz Martin inside feed. Shot goes wide, and that's gonna be black ball. Christian Koch winning the race to the end to the spot where it goes out, when it goes out. Getting some yep. Drake yep. crew love. And now I got a minute and 40 left. Plenty of time. Just be patient. Great they clear there. Time out if they need it. But you also don't want to use that timeout because it lets the defense set up. That's right. Not only is Koch got the great hustle, he's got the extra large cup on tonight. Yeah. Kahunas. Weinstein pushes it behind. Baccarello, the hot hand. Dodges lefty. Slide comes early. Back to Weinstein with 55 seconds left in the game. Shot, wrestled up, shot! Did not go in, the referee was right there. Aaron it pass on the break. it out of bounds. Austin Zugelter, and we had a timeout. We're gonna stay right here now. Taylor, timeout by Wheeling Jesuit. Do you anticipate them coming out in zone or man? You know, I think a lot of coaches would go to zone. I think, I think that's the classic move right there. But who knows? I mean, maybe maybe they have a different game plan. Slide early, make sure the the second slide's there. And they also they haven't played zone all night. They have not. <laughs> and how many times have you seen a team switch to zone and they leave a guy wide open because well, or they're they, not communicating? Right, or they sit back on their heels, and that that uh that comes in for major threat, major threat. Very curious to see how that'll go. That clearly a major key. STX Paradise Shootout. I'm bringing it to you. Bless up. Wheeling, Jed, or sorry, the Panthers. What do you expect, Florida Tech? I expect them to come in, set a few picks on the crease on the outside, get get their cutters open, 
Uh, definitely Baccarella, our yep. boy right now, um, as well as Martin, too. Look for both of them yep. to uh, try to get the ball in their hands and their sticks. See Cubby's what happens. In. And number 50, Cubby is in. Number 10, Charlie Morissette. Been relatively quiet tonight. 32, Logan Sweeney, a freshman. And number six, Jason Terry, our boy Jason JT. Terry. Jason Terry out of Calvert Hall High School, transfer out of UMBC. And here we go. 42 seconds left in the game. Ooh, nice hard lumber there for Martin. And here is Morissette. There's Baccarella. The senior. Back to Morissette. Dodges lefty, finds an open man inside, ball, pinball's rip, shot goal! We are tied up, ladies and gentlemen. 10-11-11, 21 seconds left in the game. What a play by Covey. The fans are going nuts down here. I think I saw a Morissette jersey fly off. Holy moly! Great poise shown by the Panthers. 21.8 seconds. I wouldn't be surprised to see Wonder or Hodel come out of this on a break. Great poise by Covey. Yep. Hasn't been in too much this second half. Poise. I'll tell you that much. Ground ball picked up. And here come the Panthers on the break. Left-handed shot. Oh, what a save. Not up in here. Not you, fat Jesus. Jake Lilly. With what a save by the lefty goalie. With six seconds left, wow. And ladies and gentlemen, you want some lax? How about some free lax? Oh, 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 T. Time brought to you by Riley's Oyster. Florida Tech comes climbing back. A deficit as much as five goals. Taylor, does Wheeling Jesuit have the steam in their engine to win this game? Let's see. Hey, if, if I was if I was their coach, I'd break it down the huddle just to say, this is new quarter right here. Even though four minutes, you know, one goal will win it all. This is it right here. A perfect night. Let's play a little next goal wins. Wonder and Hodel have been doing work at the faceoff dot all night long. And this is overtime period. CSE TV, Booker Corrigan and Taylor Sudhoff bringing it to you. Florida Tech Panthers in black. Wheeling Jesuit Cardinals in white. Wonder clears it out. Abramson's been doing the dirty work and all Abramson, night long. Abramson, long stick on long stick. Abramson wants to end this early. Quick shot. Oh, pass down to Cubby. No dice. Abramson, yeah. not only is great off the ground, yeah. he's got a great stick, too. And I tell you, I'd stay on Sam Horning if I'm riding. Although they did be one better and bring it to Fitzmartin. Fitzmartin will wheel it. Yep. McLovin who? Yep. <laughs> Brochu. And here's Sam Horning. Horning will be joined by number 18, Michael Sean Hype. Horning had Sean Height open for a second. The Panther defense collapses nicely. Here's Fitzmartin. Trying to play it smart. Not always a bad thing. Horning wants his right. Oh, 
Some nice defense by the Panthers, number 15, Nikki Brown. Isolated, Horning, under move, comes out righty. Shot outside of the net. Mom goal. Outside of the net. That's the prototypical mom goal. Perfect mom goal. You can tell from his angle. Eh? Oh, hard pass, corralled. Timeout called by the Florida Tech Panthers, and we will step away with 2.16 to go, 11 to 11. Jesuit defense. I gotta feel like they ate a whole tube of toothpaste last night thinking it was astronaut food. The way the fourth quarter unfolded for them. Ball on the far wing. Zugelter driving hard lefty. He wants it all. He's got it all. Oh, yes. He's slapping the baseman. He's bigger than the city lights down in Times Square. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. That's what good teams come out with. Tenacity, toughness, Austin, tangerines. <laughs> Austin Zugelter, the junior out of Vero Beach, Florida. And Wheeling Jesuit, still snake bitten. What a great game. What an amazing athletic event. Great to see kids compete at that level. Florida Tech pulls out the 12-11 win for Taylor Sodoff and all of our crew, executive vice producer Ryan Corrigan. I'm Booker Corrigan saying, you only get one shot at today.